That brings us to, to kind of a bigger question that we've touched on. What is the point of physics? Um, is the point of physics merely to describe our world or can we ask more of it? Can we ask it to tell us something about how we should live? I think lots of physicists would say there is uh, something about physics like there is about great philosophical ideas, great artistic accomplishments, um, that you learn these things and the world looks fresh and different um, than it did before you learned them. And this is what all great achievements of the imagination do and, and which physics does as powerfully as anything is, is make the world constantly look fresh and different. In my own case, over and above that, one of the, one of the sort of intellectual products of physics that means a lot to me is a certain kind of fathomless anxiety um, that that you're presented with a picture of the world which for internal reasons of its own and which for experimental reasons is enormously compelling into which you don't have the slightest idea in a deep sense how to situate a picture of yourself as an agent or as a thinker or as free or as this or as that. And I think the kind of anxiety that this produces if you allow yourself to really try to absorb it, sort of doesn't have a bottom and is, uh, uh, and is a really interesting, intellectually interesting place to be. Um, um, there is, you know, in lots, of, in lots of, say, existential philosophy, you, you're advised to try to experience groundlessness, you're tr advised to try to experience what Heidegger refers to as anxiety, so on and so forth. Um, um, physics is in all sorts of ways a very deep source of that. Um, for me, it's something, it, it's, a, it's a radically alien idea of what the world is like, a radically unhuman idea of what the world is like. And it's really interesting for that reason.